This is the main ingredient in my oatmeal. So I'm on my way to the barbershop right now. I haven't obviously gotten a haircut in a minute. I'm out here struggling in these streets. But anyway, um, I had nothing planned when I turned this camera on. And I think that oftentimes make the best content because it's just, come on, bruh. I don't have road rage, I really don't. Because it, it, the words come organically and I'm not gonna get all spiritual on y'all, but I, I feel like God uses me to deliver messages and oftentimes he doesn't even tell me what the, which message he wants me to deliver. So I decided to turn the camera on and I'm just going to talk. And the first word that came to my head just now was excellence. If you're an avid watcher of the vlog, you know that I believe in excellence. I believe that that should be everyone's standard. You know, I think our lives are simply a reflection of the philosophies we live with, right? So if, if excellence isn't an expectation for yourself, like if you don't expect your life to be excellent, then your life's not gonna be excellent. If you don't expect excellent performance from yourself, then you're not gonna perform excellently. And I feel like excellence should be the minimum bar that we set for ourselves because I like I believe we were all put here to live amazing miraculous lives filled with abundance like you should be able to drive whatever you want you should be able to live wherever you want to live you should be able to have whatever you want to have you should be ha you should have the most healthy nurturing relationships you should be you should be able to give to the world you should be able to add value to the world you should be able to help solve problems in the world like I really believe each and every one of us was put here to serve that purpose, to help each other, to, to just be happy, to be positive. Like I, I believe that at the core of my existence, but that doesn't happen for most of us because that's not the philosophy we live with. And the reason why I feel like my life is what it is right now is because I've adopted that philosophy. It's, it's what I expect for my life. I expect nothing less than that. I expect nothing less than me being able to drive a car that gives me goosebumps every time I see it. I expect nothing less of that. I expect, I expect people to have amazing things to say about me at my funeral. I expect my children to look at me like I'm a hero. I expect to have 6,000 square feet, seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms. I expect that. And that's exactly why I'm gonna have it. Whatever you want your life to look like, start expecting it. Attach it to your identity, make it a mission. But make sure that mission is, is, is rooted in, in things that matter. Like don't make the mission about physical things. Like yes, we all want physical things, and, but physical things are not gonna make you happy by themselves. The, the true happiness comes from fulfillment. And fulfillment comes from doing things that, that matter, doing things that you care about, doing things that you're passionate about, doing things that help improve the world in some way, help change people's lives in some way. Whether that's entertainment, whether that's music, whether that's doing someone's taxes, whatever that may be, every one of us have a role. We have some way to contribute to to this world just spinning ever so gracefully in harmony. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm on my way to the barbershop. Let me end this spiel. You're, of course you're gonna say that you're my mom and I look just like you. It's scary how fast the last like 10 years are just like Like this is why this is the best age and the right. best time of our life. Right. Because of this. It's some magnificent beards in the building.
My joint coming in right, man. It's, it's... Your beard ain't right if you're still cutting the middle and shit. <laughs> nah, no, don't no real beard niggas cut the middle. Nothing feels better than a fresh haircut or a car wash or a, a nice dump. I'll go back to Walgreens. <laughs> Facts. Walgreens. There's nothing better than those three things, bro. I feel back to life, man. My man got me right. Homecoming is tomorrow. I'm gonna be in red form tomorrow. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So the vlog that I post tomorrow. Let me uh, just give you guys a disclaimer. Like anything I say, anything I do, just totally ignore it. I may not even be able to post the vlog. It's gonna be, it's gonna be too, it's gonna be too off the chain. So I came back to the house to pick up Kimmy. We about to run to the mall. Maserati. It's kind of like Francisco. It's kind of like Mufasa. Well, yeah, yeah. When I left the barbershop, I had to act like I wasn't about to put my hat back on because because Dre gets mad when I put my hat on after he cuts my hair. No, he doesn't even watch the vlog. Oh. You know, none of my friends. How dare you, Dre? None of my friends watch the vlog. For real. Wait. I think I have like one or two of the hundreds of people I know that actually watch the vlog. Cody watches the vlog. Yeah, some, well, a few people. Okay. But none of my like close friends watch it. For real? No, they don't. Or do we know? I don't even know how to do feel about that. But no, I know that. Because I, like, I always reference stuff from the vlog, and they have no clue what I'm talking about. I watch it. <laughs> so we're on our way to the mall. To get me an outfit. Because my boo-boo got to look. Uh, tomorrow. She got to step uh. out like this. Go like that. Grab some air. Why are my sneakers squeaking? This is so annoying. They go to police. Where are you going? <laughs> Kimmy got out of there. Let me find out she got warrants, Kimmy. Listen, do you think I got warrants? I think you got warrants. No. Kimmy got warrants. For what? I don't know. You tell me what you got warrants for. Is this something I need to know? Do we need to have this conversation right now? Kimmy, you've never asked me. <laughs> They look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. I've, I'm a vlogger. A, a vlogger. We basically like just videotape our every day, and we put it on the internet. Yeah, some new age kid stuff. Oh, right. You're talking about Instagramming everything. Yeah, but like Instagram on steroids. having to look around for the police before I put my camera out. We're done shopping. Kimmy's about to go get her nails done. And I'm about to go home. Oh, crap, look, it's Pastor Jerry. What's up, bro? How's it going, man? Do good? You're looking Doing good as filming? always, man. Yeah, man. Bro. Looking good as always, oh, no, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying. Good to see you, man. This oh, yeah, Friday, bro. Oh, Are you going to be there Friday? Yes, sir. Awesome. This is our, uh, hey, our man, Carolina pastor. Good. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. Nice he looks like a Mormon. Only talk to bosses, not the second nigga, man. I am going to show you guys my go-to breakfast. I pretty much eat the same thing every single day, almost. I don't suggest people doing that, but it works for me. Variety is a spice of life, so try to add variety. But if you can, it makes it a lot easier for you to stay lean or lose weight if you can handle eating the same thing every day. I eat the same thing all the time, which is why I pretty much don't really show you guys that often what I'm eating, because I'm pretty sure you've seen it before. But I haven't shown my breakfast in a while. This is my go-to breakfast. It is now 2.21, and I'm breaking my fast. Of course, some Quaker Oats. Simple Quaker, Quaker Oats, nothing fancy. Put about two little scoops of that, all right? Boom, who's that? That's Kim. I put some Almond Breeze almond milk in there. I usually use about half almond milk and then half water. I need a bigger kitchen, guys. I put two egg whites. Mix that up. 
bro, that joint in the microwave, I was gonna do a nice cool little microwave shot. My microwave is a little trifling right now, so gotta skip that part. This is the main ingredient in my oatmeal. PE Select. I used to use Snickerdoodle flavor, but now I use, um, this is Gourmet Vanilla. Gourmet. When I tell you it brings everything to the next level, Kimmy does a lot of baking with this stuff. It's amazing. So I put one scoop in there, put a little bit of stevia. Mix it all up. Mmm. Bro, it's like it's like a it's like a dessert every morning or every afternoon. Then I put six egg whites in there. Now look, I only eat twice a day, so my serving size is gonna be a lot bigger than the average person. That's probably about, once I put a little bit of peanut butter in there, I normally put peanut butter or some blueberries, it's, it's about almost a thousand calories, but it's about 50 or 60 grams of protein in, in, that one, in that one bowl. I'm a complete breakfast fiend. Like I stalk breakfast foods. What is your favorite meal of the day? Comment below. Shout out to the breakfast squad. I'm trying to figure out how to take this off. He's getting on to me, talking about, you know how to change oil and fix cars, but you don't know how to take a camera off a, off of a ring light? What is this? He said, just slide it out. Just slide it out. I don't know how to just slide it out. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. That was not it. Oh, wait, there's a different... I'm in here sweating. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got it. Just slide it out. Just slide it out. Slide it out, right? Mm-hmm. It worked. It took me a second. I recorded while I did it. You did it! So, I'm going to ship all these shirts. I'm so happy. You look, see when he looks at me, then I right, forget okay, what I'm so gonna I, say. I, I, I'll, I'll turn back he wants me to vlog more, and then I just got nervous, and now I'm sweating again. Take two. I got nervous. Why did you get nervous? I don't know. What I was trying to say was, I'm going to ship these shirts, and I feel very blessed. All these people got all our, bought all our stuff. Like, you took time to make these shirts to design them, and people got them. 15 people got them and in every single one of these I was just gonna put one of these but instead I put two because I was feeling very thankful so thank you guys that was good mommy that was good I'm proud of you So my, my workout was epic. I ain't gonna front. It wasn't epic. Haven't been really feeling lifting lately. I gotta get my mind back into it. But I'm on my way home. I have a 7:20 appointment with the graphic designer. I'm gonna let you guys in on that meeting because we're trying to finalize the logo. And I gotta call one of my online clients right now who has some questions. So I'll check back in with you guys in a second. All right. So look, I sent the designer two images so now with this new bricks fitness logo i want i want to incorporate the things that i love fitness and dogs into my logo and i really honestly i hope you like it but if you guys don't i, I and i don't i don't want to sound like a jerk but i really don't care because this logo means everything to me this is the brand that me and my wife built and we love dogs and we love fitness and I wanted both elements to be a part of my logo so look I sent him these two 
images. This is the dog. This is the dog that we're planning on getting, and of course a plate. Kimmy doesn't want me to show y'all what he did. I'm not, so not even like part of it? Hold on, like... Nope. You just told them a dog in fitness. That's all they gotta know. Okay. Kami doesn't want me to show y'all, so I can't show y'all. She's the boss. These people will be like, Kami don't want me to... Y'all want us to see the logo. She don't want us to have the muffins. <laughs> <laughs> no logo, no muffins. Look, two things. I cannot give away that muffin recipe. I will give more protein treat recipes. I can't do that one. Okay. I'm gonna end up selling those. Okay. Well, you gotta give them something. I will give them something, but not one. All right, but anyway, I'm going to end the vlog right now. Bye.